<laughs> this is that episode of Guy Bob Daddy Gaming that I promised you, my friends. What we are going to be looking at is a way of acquiring wealth rapidly. Now, here's the thing. I'm in the bazaar. Well, the quickest way of getting wealth is by picking up a couple of small flower pots and some stinkweed and then building from there. What do I mean precisely? Well, once you're at an age where you can obtain a house, things get a little more interesting, but I'm going to show you what I started this character with in his dorm room. Now, technically speaking, uh, I have three more flower pots or two more flower pots, and what I did is I put stinkweed in about four of them, because that's all I could afford at the time. A lot of my stinkweed was going to other projects. What do you mean by other stinkweed? Well, let me show you something here. Because this is one of the things that makes collaborating your characters together more efficient in Wizard. However, as a dad, I found stinkweed was one of the best forms of currency you could get. Here's why. Stinkweed being a weed it reproduces itself rather fast. Actually, it reproduces itself rather quickly. Sorry for the poor grammar. Sometimes it drops litter, which encourages stinkweed to grow more. Now, when you harvest your stinkweed, get ready with your mute button. Because if you noticed, I ended up getting the three-tiered stinkweed layer. There is another variation to this idea, however, and I'm going to show you what my other stinkweed patch looks like. And this is another reason why stinkweed is so effective. Because pretty early on in your gardening career, you can get stinkweed. It doesn't require a lot out of you. It requires a rain spell, as well as the level 2 pest spell, which you can pick up pretty rapidly. Now I'm going to take the crazy cat lady back to her house. Do, 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 do. Oops, wrong cat lady house. Though it certainly has the underpinnings of crazy. This actually takes me pretty directly to her stinkweed patch. Because this is what patch number two probably should look like, and you may never need a patch beyond this. I just did the stacking one to see how far I could push the stinkweed stacking. And to be honest, the game kind of screws up if you get too many stinkweed at once. However, simply put, all we have to do is little put some rain loose. It's very easy. You don't even have to. I can fill in that whole circle of stinkweed but for the sake of my house. It's general upkeep. It was easier not to. And depending on the processor in your computer, greatly, will determine exactly how well the stinkweed works. Five more minutes. And there we go. How enjoyable. Lovely little stinkweed. Every little stinkweed. If you have a computer that can handle it, you can just go click, 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 click. And maybe it works. Or right, we have a problem today, kids. Uh, X. X, 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 X. I don't know, I was trying to click it with the mouse. And if you notice, they all dropped poison cards and other stinkweeds, as well as money. So I'm going to take you to a person who I know who has a lot a lot of money and so forth built up from his stinkweed. I'm going to take you back to Life Guy, who should be located conveniently in the bazaar to show off exactly why stinkweed is your friend. Hello, Alec. We'll go to Cell. We will go to... First, you can sell the stinkweed if you're so inclined. What did I miss here? Ah, there we go. Steel charms, which it gives occasionally. Yeah, you sell both of those, that's 400. However, stinkweed builds up quick. 
and its benefits build up quick. Once you have a mature harvest, it's going to be the minimum total, by the way. 23,200. That's about one harvest worth. However, over here, in the land of poison, there's more. 27,305. Which, in total, is about 50,000. Now, from that point, you go, know, well, what does 50,000 get me in the game? That's where the crown shop comes in handy. Because if you want a house, it turns out a lot of the houses can be bought for gold. So, within about a harvest or two, you can get yourself the jungle boat. Within about two or three harvests, you can get the Sunken Palace. Now let me show you the rest of this. I uh, will be able to momentarily. I am going through the joys of stinkweed. Now, the downside is it does sound kind of like the evening after a frat party where they're all hanging out burping and stuff. Ugh, ate too much pizza, drank too much root beer. Ugh, you know, kind of thing. But right now I've got him doing stinkweed. I've got him doing stinkweed. I've got her doing stinkweed. I may get him doing stinkweed. <laughs> you gotta lay that on the weed. He is doing something else right now. But, you know, there are reasons for that. Why so many people doing stinkweed? Well, my guys need money. But as I showed you the treasure cards, treasure cards are great because you can trade treasure cards with your friends, or in my case, family. And you don't have to make it an even trade. If there's one or two cards he wants to give me and I can give him 300 yeah, smoke screens. I feel like it's fair. I've just saved myself easily $20 on Gibberish in the Pot Crown Shop. Oh. It's pretty quick, it's pretty easy, and it's definitely worth your time. So this has been Darth Devil Daddy. And I'm with a little bit of a drop-in by Firecat. And we can say goats out. Goats out.